they kind of act like you're not there and so you don't even have well if they have to acknowledge you then that means that they'll have to assist you in some way so if i don't acknowledge you're there i yeah. don't have to deal with you yeah exactly hey i'm kim hi i'm jay and this is triple cripples it's white right on the main okay page. let's not talk yeah And so for me, it was a very disheartening experience. But the disheartening experience made the, what did you call me before? Or what do you call it? Black woman and no nonsense, black woman. Yeah, yeah. Made that side of me go, oh, really? Yeah. If you want a job done right, you do it yourself. Amen. Don't send a boy to do a man's job. Amen. And so I was like, I'm going to find out how to do it. So I found out about this course and I went to go and do it. And when I was on this course, I was just like, hold on, wait. So you mean it's this simple to adapt things? If all you need to do is think and use your common sense. That's all you need to do. Is that what you're saying? Because you actually learn um theory related to exercise so that means you should be able to adapt things if you know the muscles in the body if you know these things and if you know the equipment that's available and you know the gym then so it's just laziness literally the reason why you guys can't be bothered to help the people who need helping when they come in there is laziness it's because all you want to do is have like able-bodied people who are already hench that you can say that you trained you want to oh be like <laughs> literally he came in pre-hench pre-hench <laughs> and you want to be like yeah or girls who like are slender already and then then like they want oh i want a bit of a backside whatever it is they come in to say and you want to be like yeah yeah do one two squats with me behind you yeah yeah like that and then be like yeah i train her one two <laughs> squats with me behind you hold on hold on i got you i got you oh it's like, oh, oh no i got you but you I can't you. do that with me in it so you can't be bothered you can't be bothered you can't be bothered to use what was the point of you learning to be an instructor please anyway no but i think what we should also know is that in order for people to be an instructor they need to be able to instruct able-bodied and disabled people i think this is something that needs to be part of the gym training like that they have to go through this like if you cannot train disabled at least a variety of different kinds of disabled people, then you are not yet a personal trainer, Listen, I feel. You are not yet a gym instructor. By the time I finished the course, I was able to, even as a disabled person in a wheelchair, I was able to instruct you on how to do any exercise as an able-bodied person without touching you, without demonstrating. Mm -hmm. That is what teaching is. Yeah. And so if you're going to be in those the positions, tools. thank you, give me the tools, be able to verbally coach me into the positions I need to be in, be able to adapt things if I find that, okay, well, actually he can't do this because he's got a shoulder injury or whatever. You're supposed to be able to do that. If you're not doing that, why are you here, my guy? Anyway. So for He's me, here to cradle asses. What you mean? You. So obviously, I started working on the um, in the department. Just as once I finished my qualification, I went to the same gym because I'm petty, and I went to go and do my placement there, and and encountered the same guy. And I was like, oh, she's sat me in the corner. Nope, he didn't even recognize me because. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry. That's just so typical, though. Like, you've just got to laugh. And I was just like, but I'm the only, literally the only other wheelchair person you had like in here, like ever. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, do you have a surplus of us coming exactly. through? Exactly. So she's a black wheelchair user, like black yeah. female wheelchair user. Like we are not like in And if you've ever met Kim, she's very hard to forget. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. But yeah, so, but what was interesting is the amount of interaction that you get from customers when you're in a uniform right yeah first of all start there's a respect it very weird. that comes with it i guess there's a respect but also the kind of questions you realize like people are mad ignorant jay like <laughs> people are mad ignorant but also customers felt they could trust me more to ask me how to do certain things because they were like oh she'll understand that my knee is hurting yeah and that i'm older and that there are certain things that i can't do and it's yeah. not just about oh no push through the pain exactly. push through the pain no my leg doesn't bend things. that way it doesn't bend that way so people were more comfortable to come to me to adapt exercises for them and to say this that and the other and also just to talk you know yeah. but there was the idea people always like oh my god you're so brave like you've done so well everything is so here. brave like i take a breath and it's so brave all this bravery has not gotten me a TV deal. All this bravery has not gotten me extra money. All this bravery has not gotten me more food. If 
well, Jay, I realise that that's your- The girls gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why, for me, this is an important subject is because people don't realise that something as simple as that, yeah. th not having an accessible venue, and not having accessible equipment, because there is equipment that you can get that you can remove seats that wheelchairs can fit in and they can do certain activities and all yeah. of that. They exist, but a lot of gyms go, okay, well, no, actually, and this gym in particular did that. They changed all their equipment to the equipment that was no longer adaptable. So whilst I was there, suddenly there are things I can't do, things like, you know, machines that I can't use, even the rowing machine, things like that, that you should be able to use and adapt. Yeah. They change it for the purpose of money, cool. Do that, raise your prices and all of that, but then what about people who have extra needs that want to use the gym, that want to get pretty, that want to turn in their waist, that want to, you know, Keep do right some physio, physiotherapy, physical activities, because there are programs in the communities where people go and um, do like, so the active for life and things like that, where they go and they do activities. Now, if half the equipment in there is not adaptable, these people who have pre-existing conditions or who have health needs, like how are they supposed to access the equipment? It's ridiculous. But that's the thing though. Do you ever think it's by design? You're not supposed yeah, you're to. You're not supposed to be in those I spaces. I don't want you here. No, you're not supposed so to be in those spaces. So it's just kind of like, oh, why won't you adapt it for me? Because honestly, if let's say the point of a gym is for me to get more muscles or for me to lose weight, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm walking by and I see all these disabled people in there. I don't want to go in there. Do you get what I mean? It's the aesthetics of it all. If I see the gym across the road and people are getting really buff. And people are already girls, with tans. Exactly. And like people are really sexy. And there's this whole look, this aesthetic, this package. That's what I want. I don't want to go because there's a... It's the way it looks yeah. as well, but then they're trying to... I don't think they're going out of their way to make it like disabled unfriendly. I think they are. But I do think that they're going out of their way to... create a particular image in which disabled people aren't there. Should I tell you why I disagree with you, Jay? Because okay. Because I have been on sites where they're like, this venue is disabled, is wheelchair accessible. You get there and there's no wheelchair access. Dang. It stares like there is a very, very prominent gym chain who does this kind of stuff. Name and shame. Have... Oh no, I'm not going to name and shame now. Um, oh wait, we want we want some money in our back pocket first. Yeah, in case first. When, I, when this when you guys start spreading all of this message and you push it and we get numbers, then I I will drop the name and that will yes. hagger their lives. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they do that, and where they don't have um, specific dedicated disabled facilities where they don't have a fire point for disabled people That's for them wild. to be able to get out where they don't have an evac chair like things that are necessary like health and safety things for buildings in general topless of a gym so you shouldn't have to be deprived a lot of people who for example who might be disabled might be more vulnerable going for a run by yourself when it's really quiet or going for a roll round to the park when it's really quiet or first thing in the morning may not be possible for you. Yeah. A gym is a controlled environment, it's, a quiet in it's an environment that's controlled, usually monitored, where you can safely try and do certain things that are pertaining to physical activity. I, if you're saying, oh no, but why do you need to go to the gym? Just do exercise outside. Or I don't always want to be in my house. The same way you have choices. Why can't I have choices? Yeah. It's wild. And I think not being, uh, not allowing people to have access to these things and also charging ridiculous tariffs and taking away subsidies for disabled people is another thing that pisses me off. But it's like, I should have access because, you know, we, anyway, I'm done. I don't know what to add to that because I don't go to the gym. This is achieved through prayer. <laughs> so, <laughs> prayer <But> and supplements. <laughs> on, <laughs> it's really important that we do have disability awareness and disabled people within all facets of life because as we've mentioned in a previous episode talking about how oh disabled people are a burden they're not even able to do this from themselves so now disabled people are trying to go to the gym they're trying to make their bodies not for you so don't get it twisted for even a second but for themselves to enjoy a better standard of living they're trying to improve themselves physically and there are still barriers to this. So what's really good? Do you want us to get better or not? No, they don't. They don't want us to do anything. We're just want so, us to sit in the house and rot. Well then, give me my money, man, shit. <laughs> like, no, you they know, want if you, you to rot without, without giving you money. <laughs> they want you to rot, literally. Well then, that, the rot will happen much quicker then. <laughs> very, very quickly. Mate. <laughs>
Anyway, right, let's do this. Okay. Disability and the gym. Trying to keep it right and tight. Okay. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm Cam. I'm Cam. <laughs> I'm your black kind. <laughs> okay, no, Rick, so I'll be serious. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's oh, do it. wow. Okay. Woo. Big camp in. Woo. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, tears in my eyes, sweet baby Jay. Oh. Oh. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for both of us. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was okay, that, that That will be in the blooper room. Right? Girl, start that shit up again. <laughs> right, now be serious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's oh, too oh, hot for all of this. Really, oh, no. Oh, my freedom oh, pass. 